I'm trying to put money in your pocket. That crypto wallet. That bing bada bing ching ching big profit. What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? I got a big announcement for you. You know, we didn't think this time was going to come. We, we thought <clears throat> that all of this was done. We thought we were covered, that we were everywhere. There's something very, very special uh, that's getting ready to happen. And we're going to kick this off. Now, before we unpack all of this, uh, I want you to please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell to be notified of future content. Leave a comment down below and let me know, do you like Burning Luna Classic? And I don't like taxes on you doing it unless you know about it, unless it's voluntary, unless you have the opportunity to say, hey, this is what I want to do. And speaking of that, we've got one for you. Officially, Weeks Official, which is a uh, which is a, a small uh, crypto exchange that we've partnered with, is now listing Terra Luna Classic. And uh, there is a $5,000 trading bonus futures pro prize pool. The first 500 traders will receive 10 trading bonus each. Uh, and then you can trade Lunk USDT future pairs uh, to receive prizes. And there's going to be another big announcement. There's no KYC required on the week's platform right now. So you can sign up wherever you want, uh, whenever you want, and start trading today. But Terra Luna Classic is now on that. And this is going to be big. And I'll tell you why in a couple days when we make the announcement, but this is going to be massive. So make sure if you support the Luna Classic community, make sure that you sign up today. You don't have to do anything right now, but go ahead and make your deposit because it's about to get crazy. Be one of the first 500 traders uh, to get that and get that $10 bonus because you might need it because what they're about to do it's going to shock us all. But let's move on to the news. Uh, again, make sure that you hit the subscribe button or the like button on the way in uh, and check this out. A couple of days ago, we had the conversation. South Korea has now stepped in and they are looking to extradite Duquan. You ask yourself, why is Duquan important? And he's basically important because he was the guy who founded all of this, even though he's no longer a part of the fight, if you will, to restore Luna Classic. He's no longer a part of any of it. He's still an important figurehead and he still moves that needle when the needle needs to be moved. So we're awaiting to see what happens with Duquan to see, does he uh, go to South Korea? Does he go to the United States? What exactly is going to happen? And what is the next step for Duquan? Moving on. Guys, 12088, which is the Genuine Lab Security Upgrade Package, has passed threshold. And 12090 has also passed threshold. Uh, hello? All right, guys, so let's talk about the proposal 12088 and 12090, which are the upgrades to 2.4.1 and 2.4.2. They have now passed through station and they are ready for um, implementation. Uh, I think that means that our core security is going to be in a better situation. Let's check that out. Now, as you can see right here, 12090 has passed, 12088 has passed. And we do have one over here, reinstate 5% commission for validators. Seems to be quite a fight right there. If you are interested, I want you to, to remind you here, this 5% commission, these validators are crooks. They're crooked. And if you're not paying attention, then they are going to manipulate you. Now, go back and look and see who voted where on each one of these proposals so that you know who are the bad actors in this space. These guys want to control what is going on in this ecosphere. And remember, Part of this is because Terraform Labs was paying one of these companies and who knows how many other people to kill Luna Classic because they want you to join Luna and not Lunk. So don't forget that. Uh, but let's move on. So guys, now that the proposal is going through, uh, the the Luna burn uh, the 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 Luna burn rate has started to skyrocket, uh, significantly increased this month with an average daily burn of 200 million tokens. Uh, 1.3 billion Lunk tokens were burned this past week. The decline in supply has caused more than a two percent rise in futures open interest on major derivatives exchange. That means there's a lot of curiosity and a lot of thirst right now for Luna Classic, which would in fact continue to drive the price. And that would lead to a breakout of probably 305 in the event that that were to happen. That is the previous level where uh, we were, that, that really kind of represented the top of that last sort of meme cycle that we went through. Uh, and then USTC price. Now, again, I, you know, I'm not really a fond, uh, not, I'm not fond of USTC pumping too hard right now. But it doesn't really matter at the end of it. Once we get to some situation in which a repeg could happen here, 
uh, then you know we'll we'll see what goes on there. But you know, right now, I don't think that we're doing anything more than just basically ranging uh, within our own little paradigm, if you will. Now let's check out the price action uh, and let's talk about where we think that the price is going to go in the short term. Uh, again, if you like this type of content, please make sure that you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. Let's go check the price action. All right, guys, as you can see on the one hour, we are still kind of consolidating in this range. You can make an argument on any type of pattern. Uh, really looks like some sort of pennant play out. Uh, there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of different potentials that you're looking at. Maybe this type of wedge pattern breakout. Uh, you might be able to make an argument here that you're just getting one of these flags right here. But the point is, it's still moving in the right direction. This right here, this right here, these were the spikes that happened when Bitcoin hit its all-time high. Another high that it breached, by the way, this morning, uh, and you don't see it as well here, but you see a move towards that upside happening right now. On the wider time frames on the daily, then when you're looking at it, then you're seeing you know, really kind of that formation here that's playing out where you're getting a real pennant sort of formation. Now, in the event that that is the case, then we're looking for the impulse move and we're going from the bottom to the top, right? Well, if that's the case, then what we're looking at in this sort of breakout pattern here is this sort of move uh, to repeat itself, right? To repeat itself from the tip here. Uh, and that puts us into that, it doesn't put us into the 5,000 range, but it gets us pretty close. And I wanna say that this is the impulse move. You know, problem with this is, you know, it's not an exact science. We're just kind of guessing what the range is. But this means that we are in for a really big sort of blow off level here. Guys, right now, this moment, this is the time to increase your crypto portfolio. You're probably not going to want to cash out for at least another year. You're probably not going to want to cash out at least for nine months. The top of this market is not coming for another year and a half, 18 months, maybe even two years. In that period of time, what you want to do is have as much of your crypto as you possibly can. And that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in. That's where you stake in order to earn more yield. Take these fixed rates over here, grab your favorite crypto. I'm going to go in on a little bit of shit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to convert this over to Bitcoin. I'm going to use 0.2 Bitcoin. And I'm going to do this for 12 months. I'm going to earn 100% more SHIB than I currently have. That's all it took for me to make this happen. Now, the big money, the big money is not from the fixed. The way that you get more is right here. It's all of these launches. This launch pool right here, this is the place to make a lot of money. So go check out cryptonomy.finance today. Tell them Believe sent you. So I would be watching to see that happen very soon. Uh, as far as USTC, uh, same thing, really. I mean, I, you know, I thought we were going to wick up into this range. And of course, what do we do? We wicked up exactly into this range. I don't think that it goes very much further than that, to be, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I don't know that, that testing these levels up here is in the cards. Now, the problem with me saying that is... I'm not paying attention for the momentum indicator. And, you know, to be fair, this, this momentum indicator right here is telling me that it has no choice but to go up. And the reason for that is because, you know, this, this yellow line here has represented for a long time sort of the, the new paradigm, if you will, uh, of, of levels of support. So right now, it seems like until we break through uh, 3.2, 3.3 as a support level, but until we break through that, then we'd have to consider that that is the level that we're at. And we have to consider that it's going to pump up over that as well. So um, uh, when the next time it ranges, if you will, uh, which is, you know, one of these big candles right here, something like that. Uh, the next time it ranges, that's going to put us into the six cent sort of level, or at least five and a half. Like that is a, a pretty aggressive sort of range uh, to get into, and that does correspond to this right here. And you can hear you can hear me talking myself out of saying that I don't think it's going to pump all the way up to the high because I can see it on the chart. I just I'm worried about it uh, actually happening. And I'm not, by the way, I'm not heavily invested in USTC right now. I used that USTC to flip it back into Lunk a while back. So I'm not really concerned about the price action and also like the stability of it right now until we can get to a repeg and we can repeg to a penny, a dime, a dollar, you know, uh, work our way up the chart, if you will, and figure out uh, you know what the next step is. So that's what the price action looks like right now. Volume hasn't really changed too much. I just want to 
uh, stress that, you know, it's we've basically been in range for a couple of days. As you've seen, it's just consolidated and the volume really in the hundreds of mil, it's, you know, 122, 125 million. It's really been kind of consistent in that range to the week. Not a lot of trading going on on weekends, uh, but we are in the week now. So perhaps we're going to see something just really get ready to start to fly. Uh, I don't know yet, uh, but we're going to watch it. We're going to be certainly taking care of it. But the important thing is this. Sign up for Weeks. Weeks is going to have something special for you in just a couple of days. It's going to be a big deal. Uh, I think that it's going to be super exciting. It's going to be a new paradigm and a new way for us to uh, um, take more control for ourselves of what's going on in the Luna Classic ecosystem. So uh, if you like this type of content, again, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.